Hi there, I'm Jarkko Lahti. I had a privilege to work in the film The Happiest Day in the Life of Oli Mäkin as a protagonist, a film made by good friend Juho Kuosmanen. The background is that I got to know about the role in the beginning of uh, 2011. And back then the situation was that uh, there wasn't a script, there wasn't a finance for the movie, but Juho told me that if he gets the script together and the finance together, you get the role. So, since it was only Mackie that we were talking about, he's a, such a big hero for me, coming from the same town, kind of a boxing legend back there in the hometown. So, I went to the boxing club just in case to train. And then I just fell in love with boxing. After one year, I understood that it, I could go into the ring for real to understand how it is to understand uh, what's the pressure like and uh, we don't have these different kind of categories for, for uh, newcomers or, or really experienced boxers, they are all in the same. If you have a tough luck, you get a really good opponent and that was I had a really tough luck. So the guy in the next corner was like second best in the country in that weight category. <laughs> uh, he had already maybe 90 bouts or something and I was in my first he was 18, I was 33, he me, beat me up. But I, there wasn't a knockdown, so I was, I stamped the whole bout, but it hurt like hell. <laughs> and, uh, but it was a good lesson. The deal was with Juho that when we start to shoot, you know, the boxing is in, in the body. So you don't have to, have to think about it or pretend to be a boxer anymore. Well, I had, had this good feeling that I, I know the routines and it paid off, I think. In a real fighting scene, we really sparred. We really punched each other, but of course it was kind of controlled, light way of sparring. The guy who played Davy Moore, John Bosco, from, from Sweden, he's a real boxer. So it was nice to have the possibility to really box with him. We filmed the wedding scene in Perho, which is a really small village maybe 100 kilometers east from Kokkola, from my hometown, which is hometown of Olli Mäki also. Perho is a village where Raja Mäki is from. Olli used to go there just to hang out with Raja from Kokkola back in the days. And it's true, he really kind of just ran away from the training camp, just under the belt, because he was kind of fed up all the fuss and he was, you know, in love. The wedding scene take place there. It was really, really, really big thing for, for the village. And for, there, were, there were buses driving from Kokkola, like really, really enthusiastic extras to have a possibility to work in a film about Olli Mäki. I didn't feel that we were acting or that it was a scene. We danced like hell for hours there with Ona. And the, the crew, there were a lot of extras just, you know, and it started to be like a real celebration in a way. It will happen. Juho was just shouting then and then, keep on, keep on celebrating. And then we're, they were discussing and we didn't know when they are filming, when not. It's the first scene where we see Oli and Raya together. It's the where their uh, love story begins. It was really, really wise, I think, from Juho to start shooting. It was uh, our first week we shoot it in Perho. It was wise because somehow, you know, after that coming to Helsinki to really modern kind of environment, we still could keep up this kind of history that we have created together in Perho. So I think it was, it, it was helpful for everybody. Oh, nice. He's a miracle child. I've known her uh, years, but not very well. She's also from, from Kokkola and uh, such a small town, we all kind of know each other. She got into theater academy in Helsinki and uh, graduated as an actress. And uh, I knew quite early on with this process that Ona is one candidate for the role of Raya. And uh, somehow I didn't tell this to you, I can confess it now, but I, I, I really hoped that he would end up casting on. She's from there. She speaks the dialect. It's all real. And and we have this kind of natural chemistry. Natural and easy with her. She's amazingly gifted woman. 
I, I know she will go very far. You don't get, you don't have that kind of chemistry just with anyone. It's, you know, it's hard to explain. <laughs> In the very beginning, I knew that Juho was interested of of the loss in the in the championship bout. There was some some drama that he felt was fresh. When we were there in October 2015 in uh, at the Olympic Stadium in Helsinki, uh, the real Oli and Raya were there. And Oli has Alzheimer's disease nowadays, but uh, he is aware that uh, the movie is about him. He's seen, or they both seen with Raya the movie maybe, I don't know, six, seven times. And uh, before we started to shoot, some journalists asked Oli to go into the ring. And the uh, ring was on the same spot like 50 years ago, 60 years ago, whatever. In the second he went into the ring, the body started to remember what to do and he was bouncing on the ropes. It was touching, really touching and beautiful to watch that. And then we started to shoot. There were some hundred extras cheering for me in the real life. Back in the days there were 30,000 people. But I could still, you know, get the idea how it must have felt for him. And the first time we started from the locker room and the, all the extras started like, you know, shouting and, you know, stepping foot above my head. And I, I was like, oh, man, you know, it felt so huge. What it have been for all the 30,000 people. It was a, a completely national issue for Finland back then. I asked Olli, uh, since he remembers the old times, how it felt to go really underweight to the ring with the best in the world. He answered me that he remembers from the beginning of the first round that more was just measuring, not like really punching, just like measuring out with the left hand and uh, he got a small kind of punch to his forehead, nothing big and immediately he felt that he, his knees, they were like wobbling so he understood that there's no chance nevertheless, uh, thank god he's all good and survi survived that bout because two bouts uh, after that Davy Moore died in the ring it's hard to say afterwards who's lucky and who's not Well, that's the most important scene for me in the whole movie. It's kind of a key scene to the person of Olli Mackie and the, the values that he carries like close to his heart. It's the only scene that I had opinion early on when I read the scripts or the versions of the script. So I said to Juho that whatever you do with the film, wherever you focus, please keep this, this scene because it's key for me to understand who this person is. People around him trying to make him something he's not some kind of hero like patriotic figure you know it wasn't real for him it's such a playful scene he's totally free he doesn't give a damn about the expectations or the norms that we have in the society it's like a zen moment and i can relate to that i'm really privileged and happy that i've achieved this position where i can filmmake or, or act in a theater but still you constantly think about that, how it was when it wasn't your profession, when you were, you know, 14 years old and full of energy and just playing. Thank God you kept this scene. We actually shot it middle of Helsinki, uh, middle of our capital, although it's uh, the spot itself is, it is like a forest and a field, but it's an island. We went there to that island for, for a weekend with a mini unit with just like a few designers and Juho and myself and, and it was raining or, or cloudy at least all the time and Juho was like really angry <laughs> and then we went inside started making lunch on the moment we were starting to eat there was a clear sky and Juho was like I know this is not nice but could it be possible just run just run out there now I remember that uh, J.P. Passi, our, our DOP, was shouting me uh, like in the middle of when I was running Turn here, turn here, turn here! And then I turned and ran across the camera and that was the take that they used. 
I'm really happy for that scene that we nailed it. <laughs>